why do you think you know traditionally we we see reinvention as a negative or like something to be scared of i often think of you know olympians who have you know that their entire life has been getting to the olympics and then you know maybe they have forced to retire or just age or, or whatever and they have to completely change their identity and reinvent themselves well, why do you think we fear it as, an, as a negative and not think wow this is a new chapter i get to write you know you've actually nailed reinvention with your brand name flip because it really is flipping your mental attitude uh flipping your approach to life and a lot of people fear reinvention because they cling on to the status quo there's something about certainty and security that is very compelling even though even though life might not be great and my belief is that if you could flip on that switch and look at opportunities that are all around you and saying what else should i be thinking about or doing to to challenge who i am what matters to me and where i'm going and i think that's that's the beautiful thing about reinvention it's tough i mean if you're if you've spent your entire career you've sacrificed social life you sacrificed a lot of the learning that comes from just being a stupid teenager and dedicate your entire life to to winning his, uh, the Olympics and swimming. And at the end of that Olympics, with, whether you've earned a medal or not, you know that your time is done. That's a tough thing to reinvent from. The average person, though, every day is your chance to reinvent. You read, listen to music, think about different things, hang out with different people, have conversations, and especially positive people. And more often than not, it'll lead you to a path where you're going to be the one that wants to flip the switch versus um, having it flipped for you. Yeah, I think, you know, in many ways, when things have changed unexpectedly, I've, you know, in the past, I, uh, I, I guess it felt like a loss. And it, at, at the time it does, but then you know, I've learned to look at it as a as an opportunity to for a whole new world. You can reinvent yourself multiple times. You can move. You can change jobs. You can meet new people. And I think having that outlook has really helped me. Life is never truly in our control. Our journeys don't always go to plan. But perhaps we can try to flip our circumstances around and view them as just another chapter in our storybook. I truly believe that it's the unwritten pages that lead us to discover a world that is exciting and can spark our dreams. There is no limit to how many times you can reinvent yourself. I wouldn't have met Tony if my life hadn't unexpectedly changed direction. And I also wouldn't have met him if we didn't share a love for stories. If I ever become as good at telling them as he is, then I too will feel like I've done a good day's work. I have a lot to be thankful to Tony for. But most of all, I am thankful he entered my story. So wherever you are in your life right now, don't forget that this is not always where you will be. Go out there and do it your way. If you enjoyed this video, then you can listen to the full episode on your preferred podcast platform. And please do connect with me on my social media pages for additional content, latest flipper updates, and where you can find out how you can get involved with the show. Because together, we can discover and share more stories and voices that deserve to be heard.